Hello everyone and welcome back to One Arm Robber. Today's video is an updated version of the jewelry store heist and how to loot the front stealthily. I got a lot of comments on my last couple of videos talking about some of the glitches that might happen, especially the one where you destroy the camera and one of the guards does not show up. And today's video is going to fix that by tweaking the method a little bit. And the only tools that you'll need for this heist is a lockpick and a suppressed weapon. So without further ado, let's get this one started. When we first start this heist, you want to grab your duffel bag and your lockpick and from the truck, you want to head to the front of the jewelry store. Once we get to the front of the jewelry store, we're going to hang a right and we're going to sprint through these next two doors and unlock the door to the left. After unlocking this door, we're going to head upstairs and we're going to unlock the door at the top of the staircase. After unlocking this door, we're going to head inside and unlock the door to the left here. After unlocking this door, leave your duffel bag right here, head over to the break room, grab the utility key card off the table, head back downstairs and hang a right this time. We're going to go through this door, make sure the camera's not looking, if it isn't, Hide underneath the camera and wait for it to turn. Once it does, head over to the utility room door, scan the card, and turn off the alarm. Next, we're gonna hide back underneath the camera and wait for it to turn yet again. Once it does, we're gonna close this door, and now we're gonna sprint through this door to alert the guard upstairs. So once we do, we're gonna close this door, go over to the staircase, hide underneath it, wait for the guard to pass by. Once he does, sneak in right behind him, go up the stairs, Open up this door, grab our lockpick, and unlock the security room door. After unlocking the security room door, place it back in your duffel bag, hide inside the break room, and wait for the guard to pass by. Once he does, sneak in right behind him, go back downstairs, go back to this door and sprint right through it. He should get alerted, close the door, go back underneath the staircase, and wait for the guard to pass by again. Once he does, head upstairs, Grab our lockpick and unlock the door to the manager's office. Once we unlock the door to the manager's office, place the lockpick back inside your duffel bag, head inside the break room and wait for the guard to pass by. Once the guard passes by, we're going to do it one more time. Go back downstairs, sprint through this door. You should get alerted, close the door, hide underneath the stairs. And this time we're going to move the manager inside the manager's office. We go back upstairs, go through this door, and we're gonna push this manager into the corner like so. And don't tie him up, but just leave him right here. Now we're gonna go back to the break room and hide. Now this time after the guard passes by, we're gonna head back downstairs. We're gonna actually go out the front of the jewelry store and head back to our truck. Now a little bit of warning when sprinting through the store, you have to worry about one guard in particular in the front half. And that is the roaming guard. If the guard is in this position when he's roaming, if you sprint through the door in the middle, he'll get alerted instead of the guard upstairs. So try to time it when he's not in this position. Once we get back to the truck, we're gonna grab our kit. We're gonna shoot out this window. We're gonna hop right through. We're not gonna shoot this camera. Instead, we're gonna wait for it to turn. Once the camera turns, we're gonna open up this door. And now our goal is to wait until this guard gets a little bit closer to us and we're gonna sprint through this door. So the guard's gonna be coming right towards us. He's gonna be positioned right behind this wall. So we're gonna sprint through this door. He should get alerted. We're gonna take him out, close this door, grab the phone, and do the check-in in here. Once we do that, we can close this door and we never have to enter this room again. Now we're gonna drag this guard's body just a little bit inside. And the next camera we're gonna take out is the one outside the vault area. So we're gonna shoot this camera. It should trigger the guard from the front half. He'll come and investigate. We'll take him out, grab his phone, and we're gonna do the check-in in here. Now we've taken out both the guards inside the front half. Now we need to take out the cameras. But before we do that, we're gonna drag both these guards' bodies into the corner over here. After we drag both these guards' bodies into the corner, we're gonna close this door. We're gonna sprint right through it. It should trigger the guard upstairs. We're gonna hide underneath the staircase, wait for the guard to pass, go back upstairs, go into the security room, and take out the security guard. We're gonna grab his phone and do the check-in in the break room. And now we don't have to worry about cameras throughout the rest of the heist. Now we're gonna wait for the guard to pass by, sneak in right behind him, open up this door, and now we're gonna sprint through the store, and we're gonna go upstairs, grab the money, and also grab the vault key card. This time, grab your duffel bag, go inside the manager's office, shoot this window because we're going to need an escape route. It's going to trigger the guard outside in the alleyway to come to investigate. So now we're on a timer. So grab the vault key card, grab all the money. And once you have everything, grab your duffel bag, jump out the window 
and just to waste some time we're gonna go back to the truck and drop off our loot once we dropped off our loot we're gonna grab our duffel bag go back through the window that we shot earlier we're gonna open up this door and we're gonna wait here until we see the guard from the alleyway pass by and once we see the guard pass by we're gonna open up this door take the vault key card and scan the vault now after we get the vault open we're gonna take our lock pick and we're gonna unlock the inside vault door after unlocking the store we have full access to the vault but now let's take care of the front half of the jewelry store from the vault we're gonna simply go back through these two doors head to the side door here open it and we're gonna zip tie this first civilian over here let anyone that spots him come near us and we'll zip tie them after you do this first wave zip tie this one zip tie these two go around the counter here zip tie this one this one and now you only have one more civilian to zip tie and now we have full access to the front half of the jewelry store now you can either shoot the display cases to make this a little bit more faster or you can grab your lockpick and unlock all of them. Doing so should give you a little bit more XP towards your level and also your skills. Also, when shooting the display cases, there is the small chance that the guard from upstairs outside the manager's office might hear, so it's probably best to unlock them with your lockpick. And why not if you want to get a little bit more XP? Now, after unlocking the last display case, all we gotta do is take the loot from the front and the vault back to the truck. And to simply grab more than one duffel bag, all you gotta do is the one bag method, which is grab the first bag like normal, hit escape let go of left click hit escape again and you should be holding the bag without holding left click then you just grab the next bag like normal and do the same thing and now you're holding two bags and you can do the same thing with the third bag also the one bag method can be used to take all the loot back in one bag simply grab all the bags like the one bag method and once you have all of them in your hand just vault over something like this counter and it all should go into one bag then simply you can go back to the truck and deposit your loot now when looting the jewelry store don't forget this gold watch on this table out here or this necklace on the front counter and once you have all the loot back in the truck you can end the heist and this was the new improved stealth guide to loot the front and the vault area stealthily for the jewelry store heist i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like and subscribe to help the channel grow if you want to see a funny video click the video on the left if you want to see more tutorial videos, click the video on the right. And like always, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.